This is a good one. Yeah, this is a great fight. Alejandro Perez against Jonathan Martinez. So massive amount of experience for well for both of these guys really, considering their age. Um, Alejandro Perez twenty three eight and one, and uh, Jonathan Martinez fourteen and four. Slight height advantage for Martinez with two inches and a five inch reach advantage, and then we've got Southpaw v Orthodox, and I do think that plays in in this one because Martinez has got a wicked inside low kick, and for whatever reason. Alejandro Perez, his stance is about two meters long, and he keeps doing this with his, <laughs> yeah, with his yeah. head. Yeah, I, that is bad news because I, I get it; he's trying to be a bit, you know, difficult to hit. But because it's such a consistent back and forth, it actually makes it easier to set him up because you know where he's going to be. He was doing that against Johnny Eduardo, wasn't he? Like a yeah. lot more because I watched his a couple of his previous fights. I watched his one against Eddie Wineland, and uh -huh. it wasn't as obvious but in the johnny Edwarder fight he was really it was loads back. more wasn't yeah, it yeah yeah and he got nailed with a bunch of low kicks in that one mm. and martinez has got mean low kicks horrible low kicks i i i mean you know the submission that perez caught eduardo with was nice yeah and it was kind of a so what did he do he was inside control he passed a scarf hold which is when he's got his arm around the head which is a bit risky in that position because people can escape out the back door and take you back but you've got to keep a good lock on the head, and he, so he had he had the the, the head, and then he uh, forced his arm down into like a an americana key lock position, and then threw his leg over it, and then as he was starting to extend it to try and take the pressure out of his shoulder, poor old Johnny Eduardo, who's forty three in that fight. Did you notice that? Uh, forty three age wise. Yeah, man, it was weird because I look his face looks forty three, <laughs> but his uh, body doesn't. He's in wicked shape. Yeah, he's yeah, in yeah. great shape. Damn. He's an over on Yao, that guy. He's, you know, he's been there a long time. Anyway, so as he was here and the, the pressure was starting to go into his shoulder, he straightened his arm and that put his elbow right on the crotch of, uh, of uh, Perez, who was able to hyperextend it. Yeah, it was a good Nice finish. little submission. Yeah. I mean, one reason I was trying to think, of, think about the head movement and why he would be doing that and why his stance would be so long as well. Because Eduardo's a good tie boxer and he was kicking him in the legs constantly and... and uh, Jonathan Martinez is a little bit of a psychopath and he'll really be trying to hurt him with that inside low kick. I would expect Jonathan Martinez to be able to stuff his takedowns and keep this one standing because uh, I actually think Jonathan Martinez is a lot better than people are going to give him credit for yeah. for a good while. He's going to be one of these guys that creeps through the division and keeps picking up wins over guys that you you know that are respectable. He's a he's a natural fighter is uh, Jonathan Martinez. He's the one who's like really quiet in interviews and doesn't really speak like he's quite a shy person. Yeah. We, we interviewed him in Fight Island <laughs> and um, he was like, we, you know, in the fighter interviews, you get sort of five, 10 minutes with, with the fighters and their team. And he just didn't really say anything. He was like, he was quiet and he was whispering. He was like, yeah, you know, I'm you know, really excited to be here, you know, really prepared hard. And then right as it w was coming to an end, I can't remember how it happened, but it got we got into like when he got into fighting, and it was he was living near like a um, like a youth detention center. So like kids were released into the neighborhood and or into like the school nearby, you know, if they were put on a like a temporary leave or whatever. And he'd be getting fights with these kids all the time, and he would he had one of our videos on his phone. Like, he literally had a folder on his phone. And he was like, oh, and this one and this. Like those backyard fights where they put cardboard down on a grass uh, grass backyard, and he's just brawling with these guys. But he's tie clinch and knees and low kicks. You're like, that's not that's not fair. <laughs> yeah, I know they were talking about is like um, they used to arrange like mass brawls almost, yeah. like <laughs> like ten guys fighting at one time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He's a bit of a Masvidal. He's got a bit of a Masvidal vibe, you know. Like Masvidal used to be really, really quiet when he first started out. He wasn't nearly as outspoken as he is now. And I, I don't know whether Jonathan Martinez will ever turn into that extrovert because I don't think he is. But he's certainly got the same kind of mentality of let's let's just fight. Mm. You know, wherever he can get a fight, he'll, he'll take it. Um, I I, I think this is going to be a really a really good fight for him because I think Perez his stance is so long. And he's so squat. He's there for that rear knee as well, which uh, uh, which Martinez is so good with. And I just think he's calm and patient. Yeah, you know. And after that knockout that uh, Alejandro Perez got against Song Yudong, which, which was what seven seconds, unreal. unreal. Oh, was that uh, Yudong against? He beat. Um, yeah, Perez. Perez, Perez yeah, lost yeah. to him. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, I, I mean, I thought Martinez looked great in his last fight against against uh, Lavashvili as well. Yeah, he did. Because he came, he was coming back off a loss after David. Yeah, David Grant beat him, didn't he? Mm. And that was beautiful. Now that that's listed as an overhand left, and it wasn't. It was sorry, an overhand right. It wasn't because he switched his stance and threw a lead hook. It was a beautiful knockout. That was. Yeah. Really slick, but but you know. That the downside to Jonathan Martinez is sometimes he can be a little bit too chill and he can hang back a little bit and fights can can get away from him sometimes and that that's kind of what happened with Davy Grant because you know he he's like a battery pack and yeah. he's like hey mate yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always really excited uh, uh, yeah oh it, it was two minutes for uh, Perez against Song Yudong I watched it earlier today beautiful knockout yeah yeah I I think. Since having that loss against Davy Grant and then just watching his love, uh, Laziv, Lav, no, Laz, Lazishvili. Lazishvili. Yeah, that fight. Um, <laughs> he just seemed like he'd matured a bit as well. Like he wasn't rushing in. Um, and he dealt with like the takedown attempts of Lavishvili really well as well. Yeah, it was just a nice mature performance. Like he'd kind of learned from his mistakes and. Yeah, I, I've, I've got him in this one as well. Mm. Yeah, I was impressed with that fight against Frankie Sines, but that was another good example of him kind of cruising a little bit and not putting his foot on the gas and Frankie Sines kind of working and then he ended up turning it around in the in the third round. I think I think he's good. And I, and I think Perez, I don't know what he was doing with his stance in his last fight, but it concerns me that he might be a little bit lost. I mean, he's coming off a win. We'll see. But I've, I've got Jonathan Martinez for yeah, sure. Yeah, same, same here. Yeah. 